All right, so my friends, welcome. We're playing post-band standard, trying out all the different decks, and uh, this is like they popped up pretty late in the season. Uh, it was played a bit at the Arena Championship, which of course was literally the day before the band announcement, uh, because why wouldn't they do it like that and play a totally dead format for an Arena for a tournament? Why would they do that? You know, it makes sense. Uh, and now, of course, with the bands, you know, no Vogue Despair, no Fable, no Buster, the format got a lot weaker, and this deck didn't lose anything. So there are a lot of ways to build this deck. Uh, there are much more aggressive versions that aren't playing Hollow Haunting. There are versions like this that go a little bigger. But this is an enchantment deck uh, based around just playing a bunch of enchantments and getting triggers for them. Uh, Calyx, Guided by Fate's a new card here. The minute for a 2-2, basically a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, whenever it or another enchantment ETBs put a counter on a creature. And then for Calyx or an enchanted creature you control, it does combat damage to a player. You can, you can copy an enchantment. So we have four auras here in the Audacities, which is kind of cool. And then uh, a lot of things we're used to here, uh, Jukai Naturalist for reducing cost and lifelink, Spirit and Companion, Ossification, Restoration of a Ganjo, Wedding Announcement. These cards aren't too uh, aren't too crazy. And then Hollowed Haunting is a big one here. This card's very, very powerful. White, white, two. And uh, whenever you play an enchantment, make a spirit, and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And no, you can no longer be invoked a spirit anymore, which is pretty important too. So, And also the possibility for aggro draws with Visitor as well. Again, this is a more mid-rangey version of a deck. There are more controlling versions also. Uh, but we're trying out this one. Definitely not sure which way this deck should be built. There's been versions of this deck playing 0 to 4 of this card. So not really sure. Uh, pretty exciting to see a new format now. We, we played Soldiers earlier also. And that was also a deck where we just weren't really sure how it should be built. It's a lot of different ways to build it too. So pretty cool, honestly. So let's give it a spin and see how it goes. Brought to you by Apparel.shop. I'm wearing my Doom shirt today. I'm not wearing a Koa shirt today. But Koa Apparel, best magic apparel out there. Not even close. Super high quality super comfortable they're so light and airy very 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 comfortable and hilarious designs spirit dragon uh the anti mulligan mulligan club hoodies hats uh they got freaking uh play mats now stickers all my merch is on there also check them out call us apparel shop promo code jim 10 percent of your order call us apparel dot shop chat check it let's go two lander naturalists we can keep this we gotta write this thing also we keep this thing Ooh, we're getting uh, infected here. All right, uh, being able to draw sucks here a little bit, but sure. They have a really nasty uh, toxic drawer. We've got a caves of Quilos, and just saying go. That's pretty good. All right, I'll just go land naturalists, which is probably gonna die, but whatever. So we can go restoration next turn, and then get back naturalists and start doing some stuff. Main deck destroy evil. No, sir, I don't like it. Wedding announcement. What? That's not a toxic card. All right, so we're going to go land. The problem is, if I let them hit me again with the course, they get a third... Uh, a third poison counter for the corruptedness. Uh, we could go naturalist ossification. I kind of like that, actually. Just hit this crawling course. We have two of them, too, so... Let's do that. Right, so chain it up here. It's not gonna land. Kill this. And say go. Wedding answer number two. Alright, so they're they're off the toxic plan, and now they're on to the mid-range plan. Sure. Works for me. Uh Calyx, restoration. We can go restoration into Calyx, which is pretty good. Then set up for like a visitor next turn. Kinda like that. So let's go Restoration tapping the Coalus. Watch out, auto tapper, folks. It's free donut day today. I I don't know how to respond to that, honestly. You get a free donut? I don't. I'm 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 a little chubby. I'm I'm putting on weight. I can't have a donut. Uh, so we're gonna put a counter on the Naturalist and just attack. I think. We have the uh, the enchantment for the uh, the trigger here too, which is pretty sweet. Uh. Will they block with all three if I attack? Maybe. You buy a drink at Duncan. You aren't chubby until you weigh 190. I got bad news for you, folks. Yeah, I, uh, for the first time in my life, I've actually been uh, putting on a little weight. Not to say I'm not fit, obviously. I'm still in you know, pretty good shape. They're, they're going to block. Wow, okay. Uh, but for the majority of my, my life, my adult life, I had to struggle to gain weight. Uh, I was very, very skinny. I used to drink like Eat four meals a day, go to the gym, drink two protein shakes a day. It took, it took me so much to actually gain weight. Uh, but now I'm getting a little older. 
Uh, the weight's coming a little bit, and I'm starting to feel it. So, so announcement, announcement, hive. Um, we get to discard teachings, get back naturalist, play visitor, audacity, ossification, and just copy something. It's pretty cool. The dad weight? Yeah, we could say that, I guess. All right. Sure, let's try this. Bring back naturalist. Put a counter on... We're going, we're going all in on Calyx here. Uh, this is kind of risky, honestly. It's got to be big enough to survive the uh, these things. All right. 7-5 Calyx in the red zone. Looking like we're going to... All right, so now I get to copy... So create a token that's a copy of a knowledge during champion control. So I can copy my ossification, or I can copy my naturalist, or I can copy the restoration. Restoration copy will flip now, right, with the new rules change. Or copy audacity. Um, this counts when you cast. Pretty sure it flips. Yeah, let's do that. Put a counter on the naturalist. Get a planes. Oh, it exiles, doesn't flip. Sure. All right, whatever. We still, we still get the value off of it, so. Um, let's say go. Right. My bad. Don't kill my Calyx. Don't touch my cards. They're going to attack with the two two twos and draw a card with the wedding announcement. That's fine. All right, so... We discard a planes to get back. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right. Main deck vanquish the horde. Sure, um, we're gonna return. Return what? I don't even know. So we're also gonna flip one of these two, which is kind of cool. Um, teachings, wedding announcement. Teachings makes two creatures. They have two cards in hand left. Man, now I'm like scared of wraths and stuff too. Um. We're flipping this. They're going to have three, three thingers. I think I want this. It's teachings, mill some cards. Make a token. Flip a saga. Do what? Flip you. Flip you for real. Play wedding announcements. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of cool, honestly. Like, if you're just playing a bunch of, like, token makers... To play Vanquish the Horde also. It's kind of cute, honestly. Wouldn't work in a... Sure, I guess it, I guess not, gonna, not cute enough. Uh, but wouldn't work in an open deckless Pro Tour. I'm on the ladder. It seems pretty cool. All right, so we only have one Loran. We've got Destroy Evil, Destroy Evil, Loran. Um, honestly, we have these Nisses. I don't know why these Nisses are here, but they seem pretty good, honestly, in this matchup. Um, I would say we cut the Seal. I would say our ossifications are pretty awful too. Um, I guess seal hits anything. Maybe I do, I do want the seal actually. Do I want more hollowed hauntings? I don't know, honestly. Audacity, right of harmony is kind of interesting. This thing being a disenchant is pretty awesome. Circle, surge, Catilda, Beseju. Visitor seems meh? I don't think so. Like, just like a good beater, you know? Um, just gonna not bring in seal, whatever. This is fun. They also get a farewell in their deck, too. This is, this is our anti farewell tag. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, so, sure. Let's try it out, see how it goes. Basically, Splinter Twin. Play a bunch of creatures and vanquish the Wrath or whatever. That's how you do it. 
Vanquish the Horde. That's how you do it. Splinter Twin. Play creatures. Two mana wrath. That's it. I'm going to clone college. Worked. To kill my stuff. Um, yeah, keep. That's good. Turn to Naturalist. No one drop. Okay. Crafted Butcher. Okay. Well, I didn't think they have any, had many creatures, but sure. Um, we're just a Naturalist. Obviously, if they kill it, it sucks. Whatever. Restoration, get it back, so... Playing turn three haunting priest field. They do they do have destroy evil in their deck, so they can kill it, but this card's really good. Anointed Peacekeeper. Alright, well, I'm a dumb dumb. I've boarded out all my ossifications. I thought they were only tokens, but now they're just playing a full deck. Why is no one playing Kami? You mean Oh, Kami. The Kami. I like Kami. It's in some of the lists, honestly. I'm personally a pretty big fan of that card. It's obviously bad if everyone's playing Leyline Binding and stuff, or in, in Sunfall. But I do like the card, so. They're going to make Restoration cost more? Sure. So we can go... I mean, they're going to kill us for sure. But whatever, just play it. Make him, make him kill it. Oh shit, I played the wrong land. Whatever. Yeah, there are definitely much more aggressive versions of this deck that are not playing Hollowed Haunting and playing a bunch of commies just being much more of a an aggro deck. All right, so no blocks here. I imagine they have destroy evil, or someone to kill this. Copper coat. There's been, there's been some mono white humans decks in standard. That's it. They just have nothing. All right, let's cast wedding announcement. Trigger. Is this just this triggers on cast? So like, if they're gonna kill it, they should kill it before it did stuff. I'm just gonna make a bunch of creatures in there. They should all die to vanquish the horde, but sure, whatever, I guess. Uh, let's play a companion. Just gonna play the things that don't care if we get wrathed. Sure. And then no attacks, they go. Wrath me, daddy. Nope. So all fractions have menace and a core. Oh, they're just going in this game. All right. And here comes the Phyrexian 3-3 Menace Might. Um, it's the first poison. Puts us to 10. Trade, whatever. Okay. Okay. So, um, we're just gonna cast a bunch of spells, I guess. I mean, like, we can play Visitor. Because if we get Sunfall, like, we just have an engine in play, you know? Like, or not Sunfall, uh, Vanquished. Play Visitor. Play Companion. Do a bunch of stuff. This also, this is a spirit, too, so it grows these things. I think spirit should, uh, companion should count as a spirit, right? Eh? Spirit, spirit, it's, it's a spirit. Sure. Also, all our thing is like it's flying too, right? In vigilance, so here's the companion. Put a counter here. Then fire the missiles. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna play a Ganjo and just play this. Also, I'm just gonna just freaking go in. I'm just gonna try and kill them. Like I don't know what they can really do here, so. Everything has flying and vigilance. Yeah. Weird match, but we'll take the W. On the play. Keep. So that's kind of nice, honestly. Calyx is really good. And the deck was like already pretty good anyway. Here's an Epicure. All right. I mean. 
Having turn two naturals every game is also pretty good, so. Oh no! We have double white. We can't do it. I thought we had Calyx plus Audacity for the full Wombo, like turn turn two or whatever, but we don't. Um, we can't Calyx and play something else. We can Restoration and play something else. We can also just seal, just seal this freaking Anvil and, and then Audacity. I don't need that, actually. Just seal the Anvil, play Audacity. Is this just Artifacts, too? No, it's Planeswalkers, right? Okay, sure. So let's seal. If I audacity, will they block a both? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting turn here. Um, they probably will block. I think I agree, yeah. So. But I want to play two spells this turn anyway, so. Calyx plus ossification is pretty bad because I don't have any good creatures in play, obviously, so. Alright, let's do this. Hit the anvil. I want to hold this for Calyx. I'm going to play it and just say go. Which is like, kind of sketch, but whatever. We get Calyx next turn. What is going on? Oh, oh they, they had the treasure, right. Okay. Oh, they were just, like, threatening for value. Sure, that's fine. All right, that's pretty good. So they get to do the uh, the old sack thing, which is pretty, pretty good for them. Um, I draw a card off that. And now we're going to Restoration. That was a big hit, too. Uh, just Restoration, play a land, say go. Yeah, I think I like that. We'll discard the... We'll just play with the planes we get. Yeah, all right. That was good. That was pretty good. So get planes, play it. So you go. Uh, the old furnace rains plus uh, village rights combo. Another anvil. All right. Another epicure. All right. We need this uh, this naturals back for sure. Do that life link. That was like tap though, right? Yeah, it does. All right. I'd be dead here, folks, honestly. Right, let's discard the Brushland. Return the Naturalist. And I kind of wanted to uh, to hold this to use it on the Anvil, but I think we need to like play it, just play spells here. So, which is like Calyx Teachings, and maybe we'll cast Ossification too, honestly. Because um, we are dying. So... Play Calyx. And then we're going to counter out pretty hard on this lifelinker. If they have a way to kill it, we're going to lose. Just fine. Counter here. Play this. Uh, counter. Put one counter on Calyx. So they can't cut down it, I guess. Mill over some cards. And then we're going to ossify just to grow stuff, I think. <clears throat> we have a flip thing next turn. We should just, like, stay alive, I think. And then we're not going to target a, a Construct again, so we're just going to target one of these, which is, like, pretty awful, honestly. But I think that, like, we're nine, so, like, the one less attacker, and then the counter here is pretty good. So we'll untap. They can they, they, they take the Naturals, they can kill me, whatever. It's fine. If they got it, they got it. Well, I am regretting my ossification choice. <laughs> uh, okay. This is a constellation effect. So this will ETB. So we're all in. All in on Jukai Naturalist. Never been, never been more all in in my life. But now we can also restoration and get back the aura too, which is kind of cool. And they tap their anvil so they can't uh, sack either, which is kind of cool. Or they get Lily out of the veil after the bannings. Why would it have? Why, why does it improve? All right, we're gonna attack for seven. Life link. Sure. 
All right. I mean, we're uh, we're certainly on the edge here where things can fall apart really, really fast. But I guess they're not playing all B one. Oh no! No! Shit. Alright. Uh... <laughs> I could sack the planes with ossification on it. They would get their epicure back, and then I could use the thing to get back the ossification and hit the obnixilis. Um, I don't know if that's a winning plan, though. We go to seven. Um. Yeah. It's pretty interesting, honestly. I'm gonna do it. I want to get back the, uh, the aura, but... Draw a second Calyx. I'm going to keep that, I think. This is not... This is attackable. Alright, let's the planes. Get back ossification. Hit out next list. Counter here. Problem is we like want to spread our counters out because they have all one ones. I can play second Calyx for double triggers, but it doesn't really do that much. We're at seven. We're taking at least one a turn. Yeah, I think we're in a bit of trouble here, honestly. I guess I just kept the land, honestly. All right, let's do this. So keep this one. Put a counter here. Put a counter here. Would I trade Calyx for Braids and a creature? I think so. We'll have three blockers for their four attackers. They have an Epicure too. Oh, that's so sick. Because we... We... The, the, the Obnix was triggered on our turn. So, because of the Epicure coming into play. So... This persists to their next turn. That's kind of gross. Um, yeah, we're really low. I'm just going to do this. We need to find a way to gain life. We need to find a way to, way to gain life fast. I guess I would have four blockers. Four. I should be back. I don't know. All right, it's down to six, down to five. We're on the old anvil clock. Oh my god, double the anvil clock. All right. Yeah, we're just dead. I don't think that's the way out here. Because even if we get the uh, a lifelinker in play, we can just sack it. If we, get the, we need the lifelinker in play and the other thing. Maybe if I draw like the... I draw the uh, Hollowed Haunting and be like, we're chaining away a bunch of cards. It is sacked to the Nightmare. It's weird. Yeah, so flip this thing. You've changed, man. And put a counter on. That doesn't actually matter, because, like, this thing gain life or anything? No. Um, none of our attacks actually matter, really. Yeah, they were super dead. Oh, I sacked an artifact. Oh, oh I, don't, I don't have any artifacts. Got it. I just missed it. So now we're four. So we're, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead next turn. They should go sack, 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 sack. All right. All right. Tough game. Um, That turn three furnace range was pretty freaking nasty. Uh, I think we're okay here, though. Um, we can bring in our Catildas. And what else? Lorian. Ossifies are pretty bad, except at killing Ob, which is important. I have this right arm, I think. 
I don't think about Surge. What does Surge do? Like, it just... A very middling protection spell. I don't think Surge is very good unless you're countering an Evoke Spare. Like... Like, I want the second Besaju. Um... And... I think I'm okay otherwise. Yeah, let's try this. Vanessa? I don't think so. What, what, what do I Nissa for? I think Nissa is specifically for anti farewell tech. Alright, on the plot. That's good. We, draw, we, do, 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 we do draw naturalist a lot, which is pretty cool. Here's our visitor, a little beatdown draw here. Alright. Hopefully they can't kill my naturalist, because we are definitely a little stuck on lands here. Definitely have go for the throat or something. Um, should apply restoration into the companion. Just make sure we just make our land drops. So we'll put a counter on the visitor. Check for cut down. I mean, I guess like them leaving me with naturalist is pretty pretty weird. Is it for disenchant? It's way too slow and clunky. Alright, I'll put the counter here. No, that resolved too? Alright. Maybe they have Threaten and the Saki thing? Right, you gotta kill this thing, you can't just leave it there, so. Blood discard a land. Alright, that's a good sign. And just, just gonna jump block? They have a they have a Brotherhood's end, maybe? Listen, Daily. Alright, sure. So. Not ideal. Most of those cards gain value anyway, so... And then we're going to discard a something and return the Naturalist and go Hollowed Haunting or Visitor Hollowed Haunting. I like that. I'm going to play a land here. Yeah, let's discard this. Get back Naturalist. Play land, Visitor... Oh, okay. Yeah, Restoration is pretty good in this deck, honestly. Like, the card is uh, is solid. Deluge again? What a hater. All right, uh, flip this. I can flip you. Do what? Flip you. Flip you for real. We're like kind of out of stuff at this point. Now they've they've double deluged us. But we're still feeling pretty good, I think. Definitely gonna make it a priority in the future to try and get up to four toughness to play around deluge. Like I, I went three and three last to, this game. I could have got four and one, or four and two. Ooh, the forge. This is not an artifact though for Anvil. Important to note. It doesn't have to attack. It does not. No. Not an artifact. That was a good draw. Alright, uh, make a spirit. Put a counter here, play around Deluge again. Get a Plains. Play Farmland. It's, uh, this game feels pretty over at this point. This thing makes spirits too? Oh! It's all coming together, folks! Wait, what? Whatever Calyx... Oh, the Calyx counts too? Oh, wow. I thought it was just if an enchanted creature deals damage. I didn't realize that the Calyx can hit too. Oh, my God. We're destroying them. Um, let's put another Hollow Daunting in play. And sure. Whatever, yeah. Looks good to me. Oh, yeah. I thought it was only the enchanted creature. I didn't read the card. A lot of words in this card. Very small text. Furnace Reigns the Calyx. Sure. So if this deals damage, they can copy one of their enchantments. They don't have any enchantments. Um, I mean, 
And this makes a token. And just take four. Sure, whatever, it's fun. Wanted Bob, reset. Thanks so much, Sup Lotus. Yeah. Reading cards is tight. Isn't they a deluge day I got kind of screwed? That's kind of cool, honestly. Bearded companion it is. That's an enchantment. Get them all in the air. Boom. Oh, they're not in the air? Oh, whatever. Still it's dead. Oh, they're not dead, actually. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I wasn't counting. Alright, sure, whatever. Just die already, please. Come on. Just go. Even if they wrath here, these are, are going to flip also, and I still have this thing, too. Conviction the Forge. Their deck's pretty sweet, honestly. I, I like their deck. Pretty cool build. Game three, let's go. Alright, so... Huh. Scared of Threatens. Scared of Glistening Deluge. Deluge makes me want to skew a little more towards Hollowed Haunting. Um... Does make... I mean, Visitor... I think his Visitor sizes up against Galuge, so, like, it's kind of cool there. Teachings of the Kirin, Loran, Restoration. Now we're on the draw. 21 lands. 21 lands is light. That's a, that's a very small amount of lands. Um... Hmm. I think I just stand fat. We could bring in the fourth Haunting, but I think this is fine. Candle Trap? That's like the one mana can't attack enchantment? That seems a little sketchy, I don't know. It's a lot worse than Ossification is. Uh, this is an awkward hand, but we're gonna keep. <clears throat> hand sucks, keep. Let's uh, go. Teachings on two. We draw land, hopefully. No two drop. <laughs> We do have the Doggo, which has a better shot at drawing a land. All right, sure. I don't love two mana Doggo, honestly, but. Huh. All right. We draw the land, which is good. All right, so. We gotta get rid of this Braids, I think. So we'll just go, like, Visitor Ossify. And set up for next turn. C can't play Calyx. Um, yeah, Visitor Ossify is fun. Put the counter on the Doggo. And then, honestly, there's a question if we attack or not. Would I rather deal two or take one? I think I'd rather take one. I mean, deal two. I mean... Rather deal two or not take one. Uh, not take one. I was going to say go. Has land structure ever been a winning strategy? Uh, yes. Uh, many, many times across many, many formats. 
My first Pro Tour was Honolulu in 06 in Standard, and there was a Magnavore deck in Standard that played Stone Rain, that played literal Boomerang to bounce your lands and stuff. So they're going to attack here. I guess I'm going to block, right? Because, I mean, there's a chance they don't have a sack outlet. Like, it's extremely unlikely. And then they would, uh, they get the treasure and take the deal of damage. I'm going to lock. I'd be very surprised if they didn't have a sack outlet here, so. Sure. Hollow haunting, but no land. Awkward. Um... Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. We could try and Calyx, but I'm just gonna die, I think. Just look like announcement. No attacks again. I'm very concerned about my life total, as you saw in game one. They just like just drained us out. Even though we were at, like, at a great board, we just died. So, what the hell? They're just not doing anything. What are they doing over there? Alright. Um, well, now it's Hollow Haunting time, so... Let's attack for two. I want to make a token, so... Could have a Deluge, but whatever at this point, so... Arc Slogger is the nut. Raise your hand in chat, or leave a comment on YouTube. Remember the card Arc Slogger. That was a major card back in the day. So we're gonna do that in the here, probably. Okay. Good old, uh, nothing beats that. I think we're in really good shape now because we have two engines in play and like they just aren't doing that much, so we're gonna we're gonna restoration into teachings, I think. Put some creatures in play and then set up for Calyx and Audacity Audacity next turn. Untap not working right now. Uh, I can try and fix it if it's not working. Do all the things. All right. We milled like a Tilda also. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a mill. What a mill. Do a barrel roll. Deluge would kill everything, but... We're just going to kill my colorless spirit. Are right, they have a deluge? Sure. And they're really working these deluge. I thought they have Chandra. Huh. All right. You know what's great at dispelling darkness? A blazing inferno. Let's bring things up to a simmer. Okay. We have three green, too. I mean, we're about to go off next turn. Like, go off next turn. Um, Put a counter here. Discard. I have all the lands that I want. Yeah, we'll discard and return companion, I guess. I can return the uh, visitor, actually. <clears throat> yeah, let's turn visitor. We're going to go Calyx. Counter. I, I really can't see a way out for them here. This turn is going to be disgusting, so. We're going to Audacity onto a human. They're just dead, too. It's everything, everything's going to have flying. So the only problem here is that we want to copy all of our enchantments and stuff, which sounds really fun and cool. But they're just dead, unfortunately. Aww. So, that's sad. Yeah. Right. This deck's got a guess, honestly. Both deck was cool, too. But, you know, this deck goes off. It goes off. Yeah, Farewell is definitely scary. Uh, that is the one card that like really, really puts the fear of God into this deck. Uh, and there isn't really a good answer for it either. Unless you want to like, splash for blue for counter spells, which is like possible, but very, very ugly. Um, 
Thran Power Suit? What the hell is Thran Power Suit? I don't even know what that is. Um, yeah, we're going to keep. Like, we don't have a green. We have on the draw with double draws and a natural. We draw, and this card's been our opening at every game, so. Oh, that card's a super win more card. What's up, the name, Davis? Tell us what the time you face Doom. Well, he just disappeared. Swamp go. Planes go. Blue for Swirling Mist. Why well, would you just have a counterspell instead? You know, play the gate, stroke, whatever. Black, white, mid range. We draw up another planes. Alright, so you draw green, obviously, but our hand just building up the haunting's fine. This is this is probably gonna be a farewell deck though, so. Ten new brews for Lord of the Rings is coming. It's going to be five modern decks and five historic decks. That is the plan. Uh, Alright, I want a trader because those these things pump. Let's stack. Let's play this. Need a green. Francois! Merci beaucoup, mon ami. Thanks, Theresa. I appreciate it. I'm going to draw. Alright, I mean, this board's about to get really messy. Discard Naturalist, bring it back. Play land, play Hollowed Haunting, play Companion. And then just act for one. I mean... Again, farewell is the only really. I guess farewell and then breach the multiverse. But duress me, sure. Getting a haunting here is kind of annoying, but our hand's pretty good regardless. So the one ring's already curled. Yeah, I saw. I saw that too. Who would rather chill with Gollum or Ragavan? Destroy evil. These main like destroyables are kind of kind of busting our, uh, our butts here a little bit. Hmm. These are about to grow, so like, just block them. Um, all right. I mean, that's a lot of cards. We still can't cast any of our spells, unfortunately. Shrug. I mean, playing a lot of Greenlands, you know. Say go. a vile mono block control deck right now without a bogus pair like why play mono block control you know mono white players am i right we found the green stats they have th two three threes. I mean, what else are we going to do, right? We should, we're just going to cast these, I guess. I'll have to cast them with a Visitor in play, and or a Calyx in play, but... I have a Ganjo, too. I'll just cast one of them. We'll cast one, and we'll Ganjo the, Ganjo, the, Ganjo the other one. Might have wanted to kill this. They do. Pile. Oh, that's interesting. It's pretty good, honestly. Looks more yeah. This this they're, they're playing they're playing much swamps. This is actually just a black white mid range deck. They're not they're not playing like the mono white stuff really. All right, so our super awkward draws is still chugging along here. Uh, all right, that's annoying. Alex is a legend for Ganjo. I mean, that would be a good draw if I had enough green to actually do something. But, alright, let's so play Calyx. <clears throat> this actually works out pretty good. So play Calyx. Put the counter on the Naturalists. Play Ossification. Put, uh, target their creature. 
Put the counter on the naturalist. Attack with this. Poor predictable bark. Always takes rock. Opponent's gonna block. But it's gonna block? Good old luck. Nothing beats that. Alright, so we gained four. They have four cards in hand. We've whittled down most of their board. Uh, 23 to 14. Yeah, this has been a pretty good draw for them, honestly. All right, sure. All right, that's a card. Um, oh, wedding! What do y'all think about wedding announcement? Should that should that card that card have been banned too or no? They have a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, Quilty is both graveyards. Sure. Yeah, this is a little on the rough side. Down to eight. They've just tutored a card into their hand. Cast these spells. Oh, all right, we're dead. If I get double spell this turn, like maybe there's like a chance, but they just tutored a card anyway. So, all right, tough game. Unfortunately, they're probably gonna have farewell also. But let's see. I mean, our Nissa's are really good here. Nissa, Nissa, Beseju, kind of forest. Um, how do you about Elish Nord against them? Bone stack did their thing. Yeah, definitely for sure. Um, let's bring in our Loran. Maybe destroy evils, maybe Elishnor, maybe haunting. Ossification, I mean, let's cut the. Cut like a few of these. You know, an answer to the. Uh, that stupid uh, angel. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Kind of tough, uh, tough sideboarding assignment here, honestly. Yeah, this kills toughness or power. Oh, it's toughness, though. But this, this kills the angel also, which is kind of obvious. Um, and then... Maybe we don't want to get into a wedding announcement battle with them, so they're just, they're just better at that than we are. And then... You know, I want Elish Norn, it's kind of a big question. I'm not sure, honestly. And then, without wedding announcement... I mean, I don't, this, we haven't, like, drawn this card once. I don't know if this card's good or not. Seems kind of eh. Let's cut this card or whatever. Let's try this. Oscillation's better with Norn. I mean, yeah, but... Let's try this. Our Nissas are going to be huge here, I think. The ability to uh, constantly disenchant is pretty sweet. Only good green deck in standard? I believe so, actually. No! Alright, sure. Hands good, keep. We got a bin a card here. It's probably Audacity. It can be companion, honestly. Just go teachings into token. Eh, I think it's Audacity. I 
All right. Let's companion on two. Let's see what we draw. It's pretty good. It's kind of what we're looking for. They're gonna farm in. All right. Wish I had that. Wish I had that audacity back, but sure. Draw it again, Joe. I let's put like this. So we can pump the Calyx. I play wedding announcement here. It's like pretty good for us, I think. If they can take this, if they kill this, it sucks. Whatever, sure. All right. I mean, I didn't play around cut down out of the like the seemingly mono white deck, so that's kind of sucks, I guess. But sure, they definitely have destroy evil here too. <sighs> sucks. Uh. Hmm. Combat. Whatever. Here you go. No destroy evil. They have Loran. Shelly. Alright, so let's play Teachings of the Kirin. I guess we just kill this and attack, right? There's no, there's, no, there's no reason to like hold this or anything. We just might as well get it for two. And then we'll hold both of these. So sure, so let's do this. No, no, wrong button. Get off my plane. And then we'll attack. Say go. Board's like okay. Not like thrilled right now, but for their own restoration. Man, so many cards to get planes, but so many black cards. Gonna get farewelled real nasty here. Let's draw Nissa. One Nissa. Teaches us teaches solid. Yeah, this card's pretty good. This card does the card this card looks unexciting, but it's very, very solid. Similar to Fable, it just does a lot of just does a lot of things at once. All right, uh, put a counter on this thing. I'm just gonna play naturalist, make a thing. If you're ready to get farewelled next turn, raise your hand in chat. Definitely a farewell block. Yeah. All right. They'll lose their thing too, I suppose. There you go. So long, farewell. Two mana saga gives plus almost one for each enchantment you control. Nah, that card that card's too finicky. It's like really it's like not a two drop. Uh you just don't need that card to like win the game. It's more of like a late game win the game card, and the deck doesn't need that. Oh. Uh, okay, not nearly as bad. Get a path of peril. Sure. I, mean, I give a sage to their uh, their architects. So they don't get a creature next turn. It does ramp them to a breach if they don't have land seven. But like they probably have land seven. So I was thinking I was thinking of this. And then this counts cast. We do not cast the backside of this, so. Oh, Alright, All right, Nissa. Now I'm very sad to have a sage, obviously, but. We are the board. Alright. Oh, pylon! Stop with the pylons! Construct additional pylons. Surveil two. I still got a token. Should use last information. They bin. They binned Paragon. They already have Paragon. All right. 
That's pretty gross. Um, we got some work to do here. No way to currently kill us. Loyalty is not, not zero. It's just destroyed. And then it uses the last information. If the if it was a, uh, a render inert and it removed the counters and that's what killed it, then yes, it would count as zero. But it was just a destroyed Planeswalker. All right, so this is a, a spirit. All right, I mean, second Howl Haunting is not bad, I guess, right? Attack for four. Um, we can't exile a card from a graveyard if we really wanted to exile, but they have, they have two farm hands and a land, so we can't get rid of like the one important thing. So just attack for four. Play. Oops. Play haunting. Now we really, really, really want to draw Spirit and Companion. <laughs> Start chaining together enchantments. Not black cards. They're out of planes? Fail to find. I want that card. Give me one of those, please. Out of freaking planes. They don't got any left. They got none. They're gonna play the land. They're gonna go for the That's a fine draw. Makes a spirit too, right? Okay. Um, we just jam. Right out of the graveyard is lands and another farmhand. I mean, the companion blocks because they just get it back next turn and draw a card anyway. I think I should not attack, actually. I should say go. Also, I want to attack with the, the this thing also, and then I can't do that. I'll just say go. They just block with this with the companion, and then they just, that, that's definitely the card they'll want to play off Paragon. So we just say go here. No spirit of Kieran. Oh, that's true. I just grow them, but I don't think I don't think that matters this turn. So, flip architect, play shield rune. Oh, now I wish I now I wish I did it. Obviously, but sure. Just draw a spell. I have 13 cards in my graveyard for Shieldred. That's pretty bad for us. All right, so you go. The last card's a spell, too. Oh, come on. Why would they even wait for that? It doesn't make any sense. What if I drew a spell when I got two triggers? Whatever. All right, opponent's running hot. Um, the next team is pretty good, though, honestly. It's like a, de a decent direction to take, it, to take Mono White after uh, the Bankbuster ban. Changed, man. Yeah. Uh, pretty hard to beat, unfortunately. Here come all the 1-1s. One huh. Oh, they can flip this, right? They can't. They have ones and threes. Sure. I'm not gonna double block because we uh, need our creatures in play to win. I think so. Come on! It's killing me, Smalls. It's three gas cards. Draw a land next turn for sure. Mono White need bank bust us what the, the Rock just did? No chance. I disagree vehement vehemently, what's that word? Uh Bankbuster much more important for Mono White than it was for Rakdos. All Mono White decks play for Bankbusters. All Rakdos decks did not play for. They played some amount here. They're vehemently, right? I have a degree in English, in case you were wondering. Um 
I don't want to block a Banyan because they, they, get a, they get a draw off it. I don't want to block this either, but I guess I, I, should, I should block this last turn, I guess. Whatever. Vehemently? Whatever. Vehemently. I've said it wrong so many times. No one has to say it right anymore. Come on. I mean, that kills the scriptures, I guess, which is kind of cute. But we're still, like, a huge dog here. Um, Alright, I guess. Please draw a spell. Um, is Kami more playable again with no spare? I don't think so. I mean, maybe. I don't know. That's pretty good, but... Alright, say go. Okay, I just want to recast these, obviously. No! I'm not overconfident. You're just that kills both of them! I have got no needs to teach you. Well, somebody stop the damn man! Now I draw Calyx. Ugh, alright, they got us. Alright, um, their next team is pretty good, honestly. Definitely an interesting take on Mono White. Uh... Definitely could have drawn and played a little better, I think. But overall, so we went, we went to a two one overall, right? Let me check their was that our second match, third match. Let me check. Check out Untapped here for our stats as always. Download it for yourself for free. Untapped.gg. Use my link, please. They sponsor me and uh, track all your games just like this for free. One two one. Deck seems very very powerful. Um, not sure what the right build is, honestly. I truly. It's funny because like normally, uh, Kami of Transience or whatever, the creature that comes back from the graveyard would be bad against Mono White because all their removal exiles. But that particular deck was playing all, co all go over the throats and cut downs, so it would have been good there, which is kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, some version of his deck is going to be very, very good for sure in the format. We're still going to try to figure things out, obviously. But um, Kallax is a very good addition to a deck that was already like almost there anyway. Uh, not sure what's going to be these cards, like Rite of Harmony. Not sure I get winning announcements of his deck either, honestly. It doesn't really synergize very well at all, aside from just being an enchantment. Um... But yeah, interesting. So that's the deck, YouTube folks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, do that stuff. And uh, appreciate y'all. Thanks so much.